This Kali Linux virtual machine has two factor enabled over the SSH. Now when I establish a session over the SSH, it will ask for the password and the verification code which is based on time based one time OTP which will be generated randomly on the Google Authenticator app. It will authenticate and give us the shell. So this is the video demonstrating of my article on the medium. I will link in the description that is enhancing SSH security with Google Authenticator. You can read it if for the better understanding. I, I it also have a screenshot on of every command and steps. So let's get set up Google Authenticator. First we have to download the module with command sudo apt install libpam google authenticator it will install the module for us google authenticator module for us so once you have downloaded it now let's link the authenticator with our mobile device so for that we have to run the command google authenticator it will give you a qr to scan on the authenticator app and also a secret key and the scratch code in case you need it so let me zoom out and scan this qr code with the google authenticator app and it will add an entry with the machine and that will generate random IPs, random QR codes for you. So once scan, you have to enter it manually, the code that is available at the time. Choose the permission accordingly, yes or no, if you want to allow or disallow that. Now with this, we have to tweak with some of the configuration changes of the PAM module for SSH and SSD config file. So here, first open the SSD config file on the slash etc slash ssh slash ssd config. You have to give it sudo permission because it requires sudo privilege. And in the middle of the page, there will be a there will be line for challenge response authentication no or in in your case kbd interactive no you have to change it to yes so in my case it is kbd interactive authentication no i have to make it challenge response authentication yes and also make sure you have the permission to allow pam module so there will be a section entry with use pam yes at the bottom you can make sure it is enabled or yes so now exit out of that and also there we have to change some configuration in slash etc slash pamd slash ssd so open it with the sudo privilege and here you have to manually add an entry to it to uh, to allow google authenticator module so here at the bottom of the file you have to write auth required pam underscore google underscore authenticator dot so and space null ok here null ok means if the user hasn't set up the google authenticator it will still it can still log in without prompting now all things done let's restart the services to let the new configuration take effect with command sudo system ctl restart ssd okay so now let's try to ssh with our new in our new terminal so crypto at localhost enter the password enter the verification code that is generated from the app if the entered password and the verification code is correct it will allow in and we are in thanks for watching this video